<laughs> it is 2 p.m. in the morning. He said his watch. Yeah. Yeah, dude. So, um, but we're, we're happy to finally have you here. Um, no comments, please, about about scafism or waffle stomp. I dude, think we're past that dude, as a podcast. Dude, I forgot that's dude, what we talked that, about. That was all of the material I was going to bring was, to the table today. That, that was, was the whole thing. Man. Dude, more, just the new episode title is just more grotesque more, medieval yeah, torture yeah, mechanics just, with swagger yeah. sauce. <laughs> yeah, dude, just, just having an awful time, <laughs> having an awful conversation yeah. with swagger souls. You ever heard of the beating wheel? The what wheel? Oh, the beating wheel. They Man. strap you to a wheel, a big wooden wheel. They yep. turn it around, and everybody crowded around the wheel and would take yeah, turns yeah, yeah. beating you with a stick, just whacking you, Dude, yeah. just whacking you, going on, you going on a wheel. I love the. Yeah. You're right side up. You're getting hit. You're upside down. You're getting hit. Yeah. Yep. It's it's like you're the left, wheel you're of right, mythicality from GMM. They spin you and then they beat you. Yeah. It's Rhett's special friend. <laughs> <laughs> Someone literally reinvented the wheel in the worst possible way. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up too because you it. know they didn't need to have it be a spinning situation. They could have just kept it simple and just put held some guy somewhere and just beat the shit out of him. They had to they, spin they him. probably probably started it off with the dude. They're like, all right, sit there. We're gonna chain you to this chair. We're gonna hit you with a stick. And then they did that maybe dude. like five or six times. And they were like, this is fucking. They're like, this is fucking boring. How can we make so this boring. better? Dude. They're like, how do we make this more entertaining? And then some some fucking genius was like, no. yep, yeah. Do, do you that ever seen three hundred and sixty degrees? You ever seen a clock? Why don't we put a person on there? Honestly, one of the more genius torture methods. Yeah, you know? really. All right, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. <laughs> yeah, yeah, are we really doing this? <laughs> I guess we're doing it again. I guess we're doing it. We had, nothing's changed. Nothing's changed here on the Chuckle Sandwich yeah, podcast. Yeah, for real. Holy shit. And we Probably. just don't have anybody holding us back now. Well, you know? we don't. We That's don't. the only difference. We we do have. I will say it's we true. do I have. I was gonna say there there is a change. Yes, we do have. Um, we do have Tucker here on the podcast. We didn't have yeah. him last episode with Tommy. A video for Halloween, which That's is which gonna be pretty good. I don't know if I can really, uh, I can really say too much about that, but yeah, I mean, I could, I could talk about, I could talk about like maybe one of the videos that we did. Sure, sure. Well, the misfits, yeah. look, the, the 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 just the idea of the misfits coming back to their YouTube and doing group videos yeah. again is is, yeah. is one of the most exciting things I, the, I've seen on in a while. You know, yeah, it's been it's been a drought. It's been a drought for sure. It was literally illegal. For two years to like hang out, so like you couldn't if if you lived in a house alone, the only people that could go over your house were you could only have one person at a time, and they usually either had to be related to you or like a significant other. Right. So every single time I I went to Fitz's or Fitz's came to my house, the the, the idea was that if a cop stopped them. And said, where are you going? What are you doing outside? Where are you heading? He's your boyfriend. He'll say, I'm going to, I, I'm going to my boyfriend's house. Oh, so, yeah. Wow. You know, we, we, were, we, were, we, were, we were big gay lovers for, for, a good, <laughs> for, for a good year just, just to be able to fucking hang out. But you have a, it was weird, man. You have like a fucking, you have like a, a, a little party with five people like over your house. Cops, cops would come knocking and fine everyone like two thousand dollars. Crazy, oh, crazy. I just they imagine a cop like looking dude, at you two and being like, "Dude, you yeah. better start kissing." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they, well, they it's flew wild too drones. because because you want to hear something crazy? Hmm? Like when you came on the podcast, you know, I'm ninety percent sure that you were in the midst of that still. Like there was not a time pre-COVID that you have ever bad. been on cup chuckle sandwich. Yeah, Isn't it's that true. weird to think about? It's true. What? It is. What are you talking now, now about? We're, now we're post-COVID. What do you mean? The pre Chuckle Sandwich started in 2021. You said pre-COVID. Yeah, there, there was we not the COVID. Yeah, yeah, no, he's, he's never, saying that there was oh, I've never oh, been on a podcast pre, yeah, pre-COVID. No, my games. bad, my bad. Was I even on like, I'm not even going to say it. Well, you were you were on you were on one like you were on one of the first episodes, and then the next yeah. episode we just had yeah, such a good like time we brought it was you like back two again. Was it was it too later? Or was it literally no, it me? Was the and next then it was episode. followed by was me. Back to back? It was the next episode, and the, and then the title was our new member, and we were pretending yeah. that you were just now a member of yeah, the podcast. Uh, well, and now it's so I great to be. finally have you. You know, now now I can be now I can be another member. And it's really good. It's really good to have like a replacement episode now after we had to you know. Ishlite knows get rid of the uh, the uh, Markiplier episode that we had. 
Um, you had a Mark Flyer <laughs> episode? <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Well, we don't really. It was a weird one. We don't really talk we'll about have it. To cut that did he? Out, did yeah. he? Did he do his iconic Markiplier bit where he uh, puts on his pink mustache and then shows you his rectum? He does a full goatee. <laughs> you know. You know, Swagger. I probably shouldn't even have mentioned this. I mean, let's. We should probably. You know. There was the milk thing too. That, yeah. That was <laughs> oh, strange. Yeah. Was the, the milk, milk thing. The milk, the milk thing, thing's yeah. weird. He dude. got pissed the milk at thing's me. Kind of weird. He got pissed at me for mentioning the milk. Well, thing. he also got pissed at me for talking about his red hair, and that was like an odd moment as well. But you know. Whatever the case, yeah. I mean, you know. I met that guy. I asked him. We had big, bright red hair. I met him. And I said, hey, hey, Marky Mark. He goes, yeah. I go to the curtains, match the drapes. And he looked at me. He fucking pulled out. He pulled out like a, like a flask. And he started chugging the flask. I'm like, what's in that? Can I have a hit? And he says, you don't want it. And I was like, what do you mean I don't want it? He goes, look. And then he started pouring the flask out. It was literally milk. It was yeah. like 2% wow. full cream milk. Like just being poured out of this flask. Was Wild. it? It was two percent, or was it? Was it whole milk? I, I, I honestly can't remember. It was very thick and foamy, so I go with he's the ladder on that he's one. Probably he's got probably the had the whole milk. milk. He had yeah, the yeah. full cream. Yeah, That's we had a, we had a completely axed that episode. Yeah, um, and you know, and honestly, I, would, I I know I brought it up, but you know, I I'd probably feel better if we we maybe just stop talking about it. Shit, and it was all very like there was ones where you know I wasn't even. Well, was it like, like was exclusive. it was it like a yeah a fucking bu- one of those bullshit <laughs> fucking business mixers where the, where they're like yeah you could bring a plus one I guess but we got to keep this down to the industry yeah so nah, fuck stuff, you <laughs> well stuff I'm like that I mean I'm here to have fucking fun <laughs> there was it was it was more like the energy the whole weekend was like you knew some friends that were invited to something and then you were like oh how'd you oh, get an invite oh, and then they were like oh dude. i've heard from this person and then it just it for at least for shane i kind of turned into a thing where it's like we wanted to like go where everyone was going but then eventually we just got sick of it and we're just like all right we're just gonna go to a fucking barcade yeah, and have a good night the, the, the misfits party the strategy was get an airbnb get a really yeah. big airbnb yeah. stay there and then maybe throw a party. And then when people were like, "You want to throw a party?" We're like, "Yeah, <laughs> you do." Like, all right. So, how, much, how much should we? How much? How much should we get to drink? <laughs> you just buy out half a liquor store, dude. Okay. Like, what? What should we do for weed? I don't know. Go on weed maps. <laughs> buy five ounces of weed. We buy five. We, dude, it was like for each. You guys half were living ounce, like rock stars. Is what it no, was. but it was. But the thing is, for each half, and the dude, the, the guy, the drug dealer came from the dispensary in a black van with like three security guards with fucking guns on their hips. And the guy comes out, he's like, yeah, who ordered this? And we're like, yeah, it was this house, it's us. And then he goes, oh, I need five IDs. And we're like, why do you need five IDs? He goes, he goes, because he goes, I can only give an ounce to like each person. So I need five IDs so that these go to five individual people. And we're like, yeah, all right. So we got, five, we got five IDs, we got all the weed. And then we're like, how do we invite people? We're like, we'll just start by like inviting streamers and YouTubers and if they want to invite whoever the fuck they want, I mean, they can. Oh my we god! We had no security. <laughs> it was pretty it was bad, crazy. honestly. What but I, it was, it was, what I was, was telling the Schlatt was that, like, my perception, because you know, this had led into Schlatt's talking about his his first showing up, and like this Misfits party yeah. was one of the first things that Schlatt post face reveal went to, and like true, this true. was our first. This was at least my first sort of like in, influencer kind of convention, besides like like VidCon, but like it was all this was all very very new to me at the time. I kid you not, my memory of it, I don't know if you ever saw, like, the the new Great Gatsby movie, like, the most recent one, yeah. but there's a party scene in that. If you had to give that, like, a compare that, what happened with the Misfits thing to that party scene, it was the Great Gatsby it's party pretty, scene pretty of close. influencer <laughs> parties. It was pretty close. It, we had we had people, like, being like, I'm going to jump off the balcony into the pool, and people being like, yeah. oh, you shouldn't do that. It's really shallow. And it was an Airbnb. Like, I'm going to do it. And people going like, yeah, I'm going to do it anyways. There were people that, like, were... Uh, I, I just remember XQC fucking sliding down the railing of the of the stairs. Um, I, do, like I remember uh, sliding down the railing, dude. I remember um, Chad. Anything for views? Like, yeah, any views like, there? Like <laughs> he was like in just boxers, just like stepping down the stairs. And at that, there was like this stairway yeah, yeah, yeah. that went up in the middle of the building. And like at that point, you know, it was well into the party, so the stairs were like. You know, they turn into kind of like the moon juice, like the like the floor of a yeah. bar, kind of. So he's yeah, going sticky. down these fucking sticky stairs. He's fucking like high and waste out of his mind. I was like, I was looking around. I'm like, what the fuck is happening in this place? Yeah. Nothing like yeah, they that. Had, they, they, they were, yeah, dude. I mean, it's a shame. We we you know we would have loved to have gone. 
Uh, it just wasn't. It just didn't really work out. Maybe next year, though, we'll, we'll 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 go again through another party. It's nice to hear. It's nice to hear that we're missed. It's very three, nice to hear that we're missed. Three fucking years, three bro. Years later, and they're still years talking later, like, about well, it. Well, it's yeah, the first first time that's happened since then, too. I mean, it's yeah. like, that's true. That's but true. They're, and they're like, oh, man, this was going to come this year? Oh, shit. How am I supposed I to mean, have fun now? How yeah. often do you think you're going to be seeing fucking gamers doing keg stands? Oh, I haven't man. seen it since. No, I'll tell you that much. I haven't seen it since. It was pretty crazy. That that it night was... That, was some real hangover shit. It was, it was, it was especially when like th this group of people came in. Nobody knew who the fuck they were. This guy picked up like a little pamphlet off the off the thing that was like showing like like what the house was and the layout and shit. It was just, like for realtors. And he picked it up and he started saying like, "Oh yeah, I own the house. Everyone follow me." And he was like getting a bunch of like yeah, there was a bunch of scantily clad women and then like a bunch of really jacked fucking like muscly guys. And then they went upstairs into one of the bedrooms, the one with the sauna built in, and they started shooting porn. Right, right. I heard about this. You remember this, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah they yeah, started yeah. shooting porn. We I didn't witness it, but I just heard all about it the next day. We had to go upstairs. We opened the door. We walk in. There's two bitches got their shirts off. There's two guys sitting there. There's a guy with a camera. And we're like, what the fuck are you guys doing? And they're like, oh, and they're like, don't worry about it. We're like, what do you mean? We, we, like, this is our house. This is our party. What do you mean? Don't worry about it. And we were like, you guys got to like, sadly, you're going to leave. I wonder how they found out about that. Like, do they just have the, do they have a fucking dispatch for like, for, I for know. Airbnbs it, it that are just, getting rented out by random influencers so they can they dude, can guerrilla style run and gun a fucking porn shoot. There, like how do they must there must have been five hundred fucking people at that house. Like uh, 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 all in all, people coming a, in and people coming out. So like there there were probably just people like from the convention center there like, oh yeah, I'm a YouTuber, uh, you know, some YouTuber yeah. streamer with their fucking twenty person entourage. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm going to this party. Oh well can we come? Yeah, sure. They don't say no. And so they kind of rock it with 20 people. No one knows who the fuck they are. I'm there incognito without my mask on walking around. We had a name tag called Swagger Souls. I think we put it on, we put it on uh, Travis. And then Travis was walking around. And then two men saw Travis and was like, Swagger Souls, no way. And they started talking with him and having a conversation. And he was like, wait, you're not Swagger Souls. It was... I remember the video you you guys yeah, filmed. You two, we, you two we, we filmed did. with Ted just standing we there. Did. Swagger yeah, was recording it. Where I'm Swagger Souls. <laughs> well, we did it again souls. actually recently we when you were last in the U.S. as well. We did. Yeah, a, when, we I, did when, I, when I when I when I when I missed my fucking flight, I missed my flight. Swagger, why didn't you guys come out to uh, Why didn't you guys come out to TwitchCon? Where were the misfits? Yeah, where where were they? They were at PAX. They were at PAX Australia. Right. And uh, a couple weeks before that, we were all at DreamHack. Uh, the very first DreamHack ever made in Australia. It was fun. What is, what is, what's DreamHack? So you kind of strike tournament, like kind of event. You go to an arena and then you watch a bunch of sweaty gremlins go at it on stage. And then whoever the winner is, you know, you go whoopee. And then and then drink beers and eat meat pies. It was dope. That's fucking awesome. It was pretty good. Dude. Yeah, I was, it was I fun. Was... The meet and greet was fun. We we went around in the crowd with a laptop trying to open up cases. And we wanted the oh, idea shit. was that we would get a knife yeah. during like walking with the crowd to be this huge fucking thing. Right. Yeah. So we we opened like two hundred cases throughout this <laughs> event. And then like the at most we got like a pink. We got like two oh. pinks. And of, of all of it. And by the end, like, we're still trying to do it. Like, oh, come on. Like, maybe this would be the knife. And before, like, when we first started doing it, everyone's like, whoa! <laughs> and then, like, it, it's... And then, and then by the end, people are just like, dude, no. I just want to watch. And you people didn't end up getting one? To watch the... No. Dude, <laughs> no. that sucks. So that was, that, was, that was meant to be, like, a video if, if that worked out, but it didn't. Uh, yeah. But we did we did the meet and greet anyways. It was good. But by the end, you know, you're spending the cases and people are like, dude, I just, just, just want to watch the fucking game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then during the during the the TwitchCon last weekend, you guys were at PAX Australia. So we were at PAX Australia. So I got a lot of fucking uh, like tweets. People being like, "Oh, it was great seeing you at TwitchCon. It was great seeing you at TwitchCon." And I'm like, "I'm not at TwitchCon." Was somebody walking? Apparently around? some. Apparently, some guy was walking around like doing a cosplay of me. So he had <laughs> he had the balaclava and he had the chainmail and he was wearing a fucking green hoodie. I don't own a green hoodie. I'm not in high school. I don't own a green fucking hoodie. 
Yeah. And there's guys, and the dude's walking around, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of funny. People think he's me, yada, yada. But apparently he did, like, an impromptu meet and greet as me, and there was, like, a full-on line of people, like, going to meet him and taking pictures with him and people tweeting at me, oh, like, like, oh, he was so great meeting you. Dude, that's, so, that's fucking crazy. It's that's fucking, ridiculous. it's fucked up. That's it's got, so fucked up. I mean. Because originally I was, like, I don't know whether or not to be, like, so impressed or, like, or, like, flattered. flattered yeah. Or, 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 like, pissed off that this dude is tricking people. Well, and he could he could say or do whatever he wants, and that it would reflect on me. Well, it's wow. got to mean at least one thing, um, because I don't know if many people like the most notable thing about you is that you have a very recognizable voice. So that means yeah. that so not he only did they have a cosplay, out, like the worst. He was probably pulling out like the worst fucking impression, like the, hey, <laughs> like the, like the whole like, hey guys, hey guys, it's me, Swagger Souls. You hey, smoke some weed? 